phone, wallet, keys, pill that will charge my phone, like exactly. that. Every time you leave the house. Exactly. Get, get a little, like, the, your grandpa's, like, pill case. Monday, Tuesday, oh, that's oh, Monday, Monday. Tuesday Wednesday. Yeah. <laughs> I took the wrong pill. My <laughs> mouth is clean. <laughs> Welcome to the Bracket episode 95. Today, we are debating the future inventions that we need to see the most or want to see the most. Uh, now we get to our first matchup of the day. Uh, again, future inventions. This is inventions that we want to see in the future. First matchup is the number five seed. Number five seed. Well, well, before we get into this, Marty is just going to give us things that have existed for maybe two hundred years. He has his own plan. <laughs> I need a friend. spoon, but it has it's sharper, so you I can what? stab the thing. Well, a spoon and a fork <laughs> at the <laughs> same time. That is also <laughs> is just a good invention. That's one of the best. But I I think about inventions quite often. I can <laughs> see that too. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, there, he has a full plan. We got two chain games today. Uh, both of them are very interesting. I'm very excited to get to those. Uh, before we get to that, let's talk about our first match of the day. Uh, the number five seed, self-driving cars that work everywhere. So they didn't clarify. They first had just said self-driving cars, but then they clarified it needs to work everywhere. So that's the first one. That's going up against the number 12 seed. The 12 seed are sneakers that can help you dunk in, quote, in parentheses for real. So yeah. not ones where it's like a fake thing, like this is a your R height, and it just propels you up to be able to dunk, leveling the playing field in uh, basketball. Uh, so we'll start with you, Tommy. Um, I will. I mean, the dunk thing would be cool, I guess. But here's the counterpoint to that: if everybody starts being able to dunk, it's not as cool. Uh, self-driving cars would be huge. Like actually safe. I mean, for a guy who's never driven on the highway, we all know. Oh, Tom, you're 27. Never driven the highway. Ah, we can though, we can fast know. forward that whole segment. <laughs> we can a, like, fast forward that whole segment of the show. Uh, Wait, you just can't do it. Yeah, no. We, we fast. KB, we fast forwarded. We fast forwarded. Uh, you know, the self-driving car would help a lot. No, let's uh, go back. It's embarrassing that you don't. It's, I just highway. haven't got around to it. It snowed the day we learned to drive. Go on the highway. Draw yourself. I, if I had highway. to, I'll do. It. When I have a wife and kids one day, God forbid, I guess I'll That's probably the, have to fuck. Highway up driving, that. I think, is easier it's than like. Easiest, no, it's right, really. not. I have a bad attention span. My ankle would get tired. The people have heard this plenty of times. True, Tommy heads know this. Uh, <laughs> So I'll go self-driving car. And it's got to. It's got to be safe. It's got to be safe too. Like that's part of this. Yeah, like it can't be fucking you know evil robots take over. Like theoretically, you could cut out car accidents entirely with these safe cars. So I think from a safety convenience standpoint, you got to go with the cars. Self-driving car. Does it look like Kenjack has a pussy right now? It does. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. BFP, big fat pussy. Yeah. Yeah. Man, How yeah. are we looking? All right. Is it so good? Yeah, that's that's what we need to invent, yeah. dudes with pussies. Oh my yeah. god, man, yeah. that would be Obama's oh, yeah. way ahead of you. <laughs> <laughs> oh shit, uh, Francis. Well, uh, I can dunk, so don't care. And then <laughs> two. Ever since I got uh, my Tesla. The enjoyment oh. that I get now out of getting Roadhead versus before is mm -hmm. just miles better. It's so much more, you're able to, you know, you don't have to have your hands on the steering wheel. You're not as worried about uh, the, a car wreck and having your penis off. You get a lot of off. Roadhead? Um, and so I would say uh, self-driving cars to me that work everywhere, all of that is, is, is way better. So you get a lot of Roadhead? Enough. Certainly when enough. Was the last time a married man got roadhead, <laughs> just like the <laughs> wife just cannot keep herself off of her husband. The well, I just idiot. tell her that I can't drive safely until I get my nut. <laughs> mm -hmm. Jesus, it's your wife, man. Horny driving is worse than drunk driving. They say that's right. Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, mush. My dick acts like a fucking the wheel of fortune stopper on the <laughs> steering wheel, dude. <laughs> <laughs> um, uh, great stuff. Great stuff. Sorry, Mush. <laughs> this is Great stuff. Thanks, Rico. Meek Phil did something. Yeah. That's something dumb. Great. So anyway, um, I don't know. This one's tough because I do like, I actually like that the invention of the shoes that don't actually work. I think that gives, I like giving people false hope to try and dunk and they aren't even close because that's funny. Like you said, well, it's the pumps or whatever. You used to pump up the shoe. Yep. The, or shocks. the shocks. I thought Nike shocks. Yeah. Yeah. Like that did nothing, but it made me think I could. And also, self driving cars scare the shit out of me. Yeah. But I would go with that with the safety factor. So I'll go yeah. with that one. Self driving cars. Nick. Yeah. Self driving cars would eliminate DUIs. Um, you could get in your car, fall asleep, wake up at the fucking beach or something. That's amazing. 
uh, that would improve life tenfold. So I'm going with that. Self-driving cars? KB. Yeah. And to, to Tommy's point, like the second somebody like fucking Tommy dunks, right. you don't want to do that anymore. Yeah. <laughs> They'd get rid of the dunk contest. Yeah. KB. The self-driving car in a blowout. The sh is shoes that would make you magically jump higher. You'd end up hurting yourself. That uh, probably already exists. You ever, you ever see dogs. Like Mike? Yeah. yeah. Great yes. movie. Infuriating movie. I like it, but it's infuriating. Like he, that kid cannot play like Michael Jordan. It pisses me off. So I don't want shoes like. Oh, it's little Bow Wow. Yeah. Huh? Little Bow Wow. What about? He's little Bow Wow. He was like Mike. No, no, he can't. Yes, he can. <laughs> no, he can't. Make a new album, maybe. He's falling off. But, yeah. It's too loud. It's too, it's too loud. <laughs> it really is. Jay. Can't hear a What's word. The, the quick conversation after you leave the movie theater that you like but infuriates you. <laughs> when you're with like a friend or your girlfriend, you're like, did you like it? Yeah, I liked it, but I'm mad. <laughs> yeah. yeah is that what it, that's, that's what it's, it's like. It's, it's very odd demeanor. Uh, it's got to be the self-driving car. Especially so for... Mm. <laughs> <laughs> for Roadhead? No. <laughs> um, I don't think Che... I still don't think Che gets what you're saying there. For eating puss on the road. No, dude. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, he seriously yeah. doesn't know? You're Asian. <laughs> oh, yeah. He's yeah. a classically bad driver. You could tell... You talk, yeah. I'm glad you called it out because yeah. he's like pretending to laugh. He's like, oh, yeah. He oh, knows. I did think I got it. <laughs> yeah, I was way off base. <laughs> Um, walking through Chinatown in New York is like a, a level of Rocket League. <laughs> it really is. Does have the most traffic of all time. <laughs> it is very. It's very condensed. So I was at Eddie drove me to work one day, mm -hmm. and the Tesla has a self-driving feature. Yeah. but you oh, can't use it does it? You're on the highway. Yeah, so it has. Not I've, true. I've it's like, that's illegal not true. to do it in the regular roads. He was telling me it was illegal to do it in the regular roads, and it doesn't work the same. That's. I mean, that's just not true. And don't you have to put your hands on the wheel every once in a while to show you that you do? There? But every once in a while, yeah, you kind of give it a little shimmy, and then you're okay. I also I feel like until we all have self driving cars, I feel like some self driving cars yes. and some man driving cars is a a, a dangerous combination. Mm. I like driving too. That's the problem. Like, I, don't I do like, too. I don't like just sitting in the car. I like driving. Yeah, I like, like think of a boring road trip and then take out the driving part. That's that's actually awful. <laughs> Going through the Great Plains. Oh, driving is oh. the worst part of a road trip. What? No, I'm with Trey. No, I think driving is relaxing, especially like alone. I'd be bored out of my fucking gourd. You gotta be locked mm. in all the time. No, thank you. Yeah, I'd rather just have some road snacks. Yeah, you would still with the self-driving car, you'd still get like the satisfying relaxation yeah. of like looking out at the road, and then like you'd feel you'd still get that part of like, oh, I'm driving, but you actually have no stakes. Yeah. What about when some dude pulls up to me with a big breasted floozy and wants to drag race? You said, get in my car, bitch. Yeah, give me some yeah. roadhead. Yeah. Come suck me. <laughs> you guys are way too into yeah, I never. I guess I never thought of that. Yeah. Uh, anyway, self-driving car is going to have a clean sweep here. Next up, we have the number four seed. Uh, they kind of say to say a pill or something that cleans your teeth and makes your breath smell good. Is there a pep good. rally going on? Yeah. Are, there, right. are they doing a pep rally? Yeah. Uh, it's just me, Phil. Is it Meek Phil again? It's literally Meek Phil. Oh, Greer, so, the machine gun Greer is over there probably telling some him. racist oh, jokes. Oh, yeah. Well, he's probably him. drunk. So the next matchup is number four seed, a pill to brush your teeth and make your breath smell good versus a number 13 seed, a pill that cures male pattern baldness. Uh, <laughs> so if you just use like pill that does X, you can just say anything. Yeah, it's, yeah, it's like I'm curious to see where people's minds go. Okay, because pill brushing your teeth is super easy. Yeah, who said? And this? then also making there already is a pill that makes your breath good. <laughs> What's gum? <laughs> mint. Oh, mint. Mint. Yeah. yeah. Mint. yeah. <laughs> All right, so I'll own up to the toothbrush one. <laughs> That's awful. Uh, That's one of the worst things I've well, ever listen, heard. It, I, I think it would be harder to get up and take yeah. a pill than go brush your teeth. I do, you know, some like you're the latest fucking brushing thing Brushing your ever. teeth, you know, so you got to do, you're supposed to do it for like three minutes. If you just like, pop, like maybe it's just no. a spray, maybe not a pill, maybe a spray that like cleans all your teeth, flosses, like you don't want to have, you don't. I can get on board. Yeah, a floss. pill that flosses your teeth. No, a spray, <laughs> you spray, you spray something in your mouth and boom, <laughs> all your teeth are, are clean, you're flossed and you have great smelling breath instead of sitting there doing, oh, teeth brush, I, fucking floss. I love shit. brushing my teeth. I like, I think it's fun. It's nice. It's like, I know, I think what's wrong with brushing No, I actually teeth? do. What? I, I like che, it. Che, you don't like brushing your teeth? 
You're just trying to get this in favor of the male pattern baldness. Yeah, you I didn't clearly do that did one this either. One. You're trying yeah. to skew the vote. I wasn't. Early. E- that was not even my. <laughs> I believe me, I agree. But I didn't even say that one either. I think for I this think episode of the bracket, episode. like, I think it's okay if we own up because, like, we might have in some of these make a case for like sure. why it's a better invention. That's fine. If you want to own up to it, you can own up to it. Yeah. I'll tell you who it's assigned to because again, that's a different, right? Whole right, different right. bag of. Uh, I keep saying bag of worms. That's Wait, does, isn't there a pill that, worms. that stops male pattern baldness? Yeah, finasteride. Yeah. Uh, don't. Uh, some of them just you know, so it's, it's try a lot of oil. Them. It's don't don't try and talk. No, we gotta do it every day. On. Yeah, you do it, and then it doesn't work. And it sounds like happen. you've tried this pill. You can't reverse yeah. it, but it halts. <laughs> Wait, no, I, I, find, I find that some of them do really help. I was losing my hair, and then I started doing it, and it came back. Mm. I don't think I've ever yeah. seen one that makes it. Unreceded, only oh, prevented. No, it stops it from going further. You, you got to go to Turkey, brother. Yeah, exactly. The receipt is, is no good. Uh, so, Che, which one do you think? The pill to brush your teeth and make your breath smell good, or the pill to cure male pattern baldness? I would lump in with Tommy because he added the flossing part. If it does the flossing, then I'm on board with that. Just because I think we can all get better. That if there's no way everyone here flosses every day or like even five times a week. Yeah, I do. Uh, well, I uh, like flossing. I, I I grab a five fl- times a week. I, oh my god! I before I leave the house, I grab a floss stick. Those li- those little Dentech picks. Yeah. yeah, sponsor me, Dentech. Uh, so oh. that's one for the teeth, KB. Yes, one for the teeth. The teeth okay. thing is out of the realm of possibility. Like physiologically, you couldn't. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know about it. No, let, let, all right. Can I change the pill? Is the head of a toothbrush? Let me change it to a spray <laughs> or some shit. It's a little spray and that's the, just like a that exists. No, no, no. But a spray, no, spray, no, spray. spray that it, it it you know it seeps all over. It cleans. Yeah. It gets in the fucking plaque. <laughs> a little Are you bit. This to Tommy because I submitted this too. He was it was you whoever did the breath you. thing too. I did the toothbrushing. Yeah, thing. the toothbrushing thing. Tommy submitted his first, so he gets it. Oh, uh, whatever. I said we're. I, I owned up to this because I felt like we had lost the room, and I was like, "Let me explain it a little." Yeah, bit. and it goes up against the hair one. The hair one. Uh, it's definitely the hair one. Oh, you're supposed to pitch it when it's your turn. <laughs> it's KB's turn. Still. It's KB's going. Turn. <laughs> KB. No, oh, it's it's the hair one for sure. I think that should exist. I don't mm. understand how we. It don't does exist. exist. I almost feel like we can't even count it. <laughs> it's no. We're talking like it's. I, mean, I think when you say a pill, right? There's just like a, a kind of like, convenient device to say like, hey, makes it grow back. You take it. Yeah. You take this pill next morning with a full head of hair. Okay, fair. Hair growing seems like an easy thing. It should be. Yeah. It's it's more saying like, hey, you take this pill, you have a full head of hair the rest of your life, which isn't a thing. You know the what I mean? The best part about the way this is formatted right now is right behind you, Nate, was like rubbing his balls. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so you go with the bald one, uh, KB, Nick. Yeah, bald one. Yeah, I think um, brushing your teeth is too easy. That's re- like really in your control. Um, yeah, I think that's every man, every man in the back of their mind is like, all right, it's going to happen one day. Uh, mm. But stopping that would be cool. You know who has a uh, opposite of receding hairline is Quakes. You ever see his yeah. hair? Like every time I see him, his hairline gets further he forward. He's got an aggressive yeah, hairline. Uh, Glenny too. Glenny proceeding hairline. Yeah, yeah proceeding hairline. That's right. Carlos Alcaraz. Alcaraz. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Marty. Yeah, that's, that's not even. I don't even need to explain. <laughs> Speaking about my question, people. my answer is there's Ooh. no explanation. Yeah, well, you don't Tommy, need to. Tommy, that's uh, the stupidest thing I've ever heard. It's, it was Francis. This and Francis. Very, brushing uh, your teeth is so easy. No, yeah. Do you even need to brush those? Tommy's. You, not really, but you should. <laughs> your teeth are for Ed. Do you need to brush fake teeth? I just feel like it's so easy to. It's like, oh, I'm going to bed. Here we go. I wake up. There we go. It's Sometimes it's nice. But the flossing, the bre- you know, it's a cure all. It's a cure all uh, spray. The hangover brushing of teeth is awesome. Like when the hangover is mm. fading away, yeah. you're feeling better. It that's makes true. you feel good. After that is weird. How does that work? Eggs too. I don't like when I eat eggs. I like having a nice little brush after that. Mm. That is any sort of like a pop or a, a soda. It leaves a film on the teeth. Mm. That's right, yeah. Francis. It's the hair one for sure. Um, if I had had the credit for the teeth, I would have advocated for it. But <laughs> that was rugged from me. It's the hair one. Tommy? I'm actually going to vote for the hair one, too. Uh, I do think, like, it's just not something I've ever really thought of because I haven't had, like, receding hair. But I do feel like if that day ever comes for me, 
I will really, come. really be because well, you look fast. like you look you look awful in a hat. Right. Yeah. So imagine bald. Like I need <laughs> hair. If my hair is not showing, I'm as unfuckable as they come. <laughs> so I'm just. I've always just been banking on that thing that like it's whatever your mom's dad's hair is. Just been banking on that being true for my whole life. Mm. Uh, but yeah, if the unfortunate happens, I'll take the hair pill. I've started FaceTiming Tommy on weekends or in the evenings, late evenings, uh, just in the hopes that he'll pick up so that I can watch him piping some chick. <laughs> yeah, you'll catch him one day. <laughs> uh, let, let me <laughs> Friday watch night. Watch a WNBA game. Friday night, I was I was home just by I was with my roommate, just really high on on a three G. And uh, Francis, I get a missed FaceTime from Francis. And then I get a text message from him that says, you are beating me at life. <laughs> and I was thinking, <laughs> what the hell is going oh, on right now? And I was like, I am not in a state where I'm dealing with a, <laughs> with a Francis meltdown. I just knew he was, I knew he was piping down some. some I, was not, I was not piping. And and the titties, the titties that Tommy manages to secure are enormous <laughs> and round. Oh, you got the big ones? Oh, yeah. big, big heavies only. <laughs> BGOs, yeah. the BHOs. <laughs> You're beating me at life, though. That's so extreme. Is everybody, is everybody looking at us? Okay, now there's a... <laughs> <laughs> uh, it'll, this will all work itself. I, I was also told that like there's going to be a new studio opening up, so hopefully okay. that'll, be, that'll help the situation out, too. Actually, we're going to take that one to Chicago. Yeah, just... <laughs> <laughs> You're going to pick it up we're and move it. We're going to and ship it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Uh, before we get into the next one, let's hear from our next uh, sponsor of the day, Game Time, the exclusive ticketing partner of Barstool Sports. I think all of us have used Game Time, right? At least yeah, yeah. yeah. It's the best. Yeah, they're the absolute best. Created by fans for fans, Game Time is a ticketing app that makes it easier than ever to score last minute deals on tickets to sports, concerts, and shows. And they guarantee the lowest price. I used them for Yankees game this year. I used them for Pack of Disco. Uh, what are you? What's the last thing you used them for? Uh, I used it for a Drake concert. I used it for Duke tickets. There, it's. Everything, every anything I go to, I use it for. Mm-hmm. What do I uh, do? I even want to ask what you might have used. Well, I tried to get tickets one year to uh, a Penn State game, but uh, and they got them for us, and then we had to cancel. And they weren't even mad because they're mm-hmm. just good people, and they got us the tickets, and they're awesome. Uh, and again. All the stuff that we're just talking about, it's possible to get through the Game Time app. The biggest last minute price drops can be found on the seats that you thought you could never buy. They'll even credit you 110% of the seat price if you can find a better deal elsewhere. That's where they're the best. That's incredible. You can also get a limited time discount or limited time discounts with exclusive flash deals. The purchase process takes just two taps in 10 seconds. And once you buy your tickets, they're delivered directly to your phone. No printer needed. The app also allows you to easily share tickets with friends via text so you can get into the game seamlessly. Skip the hassle and enjoy the moment. Download the Game Time app or go to the website, enter your email, and redeem code LCB for twenty percent or twenty dollars off your first purchase. Terms do apply. Uh, again, we love Game Time. Thanks to Game Time. Uh, next matchup, number eight seed. Number eight seed is something to help us personally fly. So not a flying car, not a, like like a jet packer or something. Something that like I think it's just something that helps you. Or it could be a jet pack. Something that lets you personally fly, not in a car or in an enclosed space or anything. It's just something that lets you personally fly. And that's going up against number nine seed, which I like a lot. A baby screaming muffling bubble. So something uh, you put around a screaming baby so that no one else can hear it. And again, uh, I'm assuming... <laughs> like a plastic bag. <laughs> yeah, I was going to say. <laughs> so we're owning up to these, right? A cone of silence. Yeah. I, think we're, I think you own up to it if you want to make a pitch for it. If yeah. you want to make a pitch for it. Fran- I knew this was an easy one. <laughs> yeah. How? <laughs> if I had to pick anyone here that wanted to silence a baby, it would be you. <laughs> really? I mean, Jay has kids. Like, I would have thought maybe someone who... I'm you can pro still, life. You can <laughs> still care for the baby and love the baby and comfort it. You're just not being screamed at anymore. What One could make... The entire body is in, like, a... Just a, an aquarium. Look, look, man, I don't know what it looks like. <laughs> you can't coddle it. I like how how KB's like look. At, he wants to know what every invention. I would like schematics like. of everyone. I do yes. too. I agree with. Maybe that. it's like just that. some kind of a mouth patch that has oxygen, able to breathe, but silences the vocal. Cord. A muffle. One could make the argument that you kind of need to hear your baby cry to know when they're. Yeah. All right. So then There's you put it on. You, it's it's crying. You just put the sheath around it, <laughs> comfort it, and. <laughs> The baby kind of cries itself out, but you don't have to deal with the sound of the actual sound okay. of it. Che, what do you think? You're the one of us with kids. I mean, that's, yeah. It, it, I can understand it on, like, mass transportation. Like, we took a flight back and there was a baby crying in the middle of the night. Like, that's annoying. But, like, your own kid, like, I would not put 
uh, some sort of sheet or <laughs> scarf over their faces to them crying. It's usually a pretty momentary thing and like doesn't last long enough where it's, I would invest in a product that would look well. extremely shameful. And also, uh, it's not like you can do that by yourself. Wait, you're, you're exactly right, though. On an airplane, you, your baby's howling, screaming, and you put this thing over it, and all of a sudden, everyone likes you so much more. You are a good citizen of, of the airplane. I think that is the, the best use of like this invention, mind. for sure. But the baby doesn't mind it. In yeah. fact, maybe it's got some kind of uh, comforting Comedy effect. tonic on it. Thank God that guy put his baby in a bag. <laughs> <laughs> Bubble over a baby's Good thing head. he had that silence bag. <laughs> yeah. Uh, so personal flying versus the baby scream muffle muffler. What do you want to call it? Muzzle? No, <laughs> no. A, a, a cone of silence. Cone of silence. I, I think I'm picturing oh. like the um the <laughs> like old uh, the old deep silence. sea diving. You the bell. Uh, yes. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, Tommy, which one do you want? The oh, it's one. definitely fly. I want to be able to fly so bad. I don't mean like a flying car. Like, I want to be able to fly. Like, I'm fucking Superman. I actually had a Tommy, dream. Tommy, you would not. You would not go a foot off the ground. You don't you drive would, if I could, could go on the high driveway. You'd be I had. I had like. Skies? I had like a half lucid dream the other night where I was flying. And it was awesome. And and Glennie Balls was there. And he was jealous. He was like, let's fucking show off. <laughs> and everyone's like, holy shit, you can... Being able to fly would be so... Sick. And I think I'm just in a flying phase right now because I had that dream. Uh, but, yeah, I I mean, yeah, the baby mop. Being able to fly, come on. Mm-hmm. Imagine imagine how fast we could all fucking get around places, too. Yeah, you guys would be able to record here, although still wouldn't be in the radio room. <laughs> yeah. you stuck here with us. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so you're going with flying, yeah. Francis? Uh, flying is ridiculous. I mean, that's just stupid. Um, Go on. Well, <laughs> there's so many other ways it, 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 to transport that we could come yes, up with. Don't it, say anything know. else, though, about... What? Save save that for later. All right, fine. Um, you'd also, you just get people running into each other head on. Like, I mean, eventually we'd get it. We don't run into each other when we walk. No, but it'd be like base jumping accidents. You'd have wingsuit collisions. People no, you'd be good. And- you'd be good at it. Mm. <laughs> a million people would die a day. Yeah, it'd be really <laughs> bad. It'd be really, really bad. It'd be bodies everywhere. I don't think that's true. Uh, you're wrong. Yes, it's true. We'd be flying. Like, we'd be able car to fly. Car accidents happen. You think people flying? There would be like- less flying accidents than car no. accidents. No. It's like planes are the no, safest dude. form of transportation. Flying would be the safest form of transportation. because there's fewer planes, planes are flying. heavily regulated. So yeah. would we. We would be too. With this, with this fucking government. <laughs> <laughs> I love Tommy Trump's persona is so good. It's, what do you uh, mean? Now <laughs> believe. Yeah, no, it's, it's a yeah, it's a bit. <laughs> baby cone of silence for safety's sake. The baby cone of silence. Mush. I'm going with the baby. I, I think flying is just. Yeah, I. We it's already we crazy. already fly and like no we don't but air traffic is more is more difficult than you think. There's a lot of stuff going on up there. Yeah, he's that right. you don't know like birds, fucking other planes. I think we'd figure it out. I think I'm about birds, Marty. Yeah, tell me didn't know about birds. <laughs> he doesn't know about the birds. He's not thinking about the birds. <laughs> I just think it'd be really birds. cool to fly a little bit. I don't. It know. would be cool, but I'm thinking more like. I, I think flying is such a ridi- I think I actually grew with Francis. I think it's ridiculous that people still talk about like people flying. You're so cool. What are you talking about? I, yeah. I think it's, <laughs> it'd be it's, so awesome. You guys are really cool with the happen. idea of fucking flying. I, yeah, yeah. You, <laughs> what, what do, you, do you like witches on broomsticks and stuff? <laughs> yeah, that was real. That'd be kind of cool. Say I like. I mean, I think that'd be a cool thing to be able to. Yeah, do. Tommy just wants to play Quidditch. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to baby. He wants to be able to fly up and kiss the girls he dates. And get to the top. <laughs> fair play, fair play. Uh, <laughs> uh, Nick, uh, flying's fucking stupid. Dude. <laughs> what that the fuck? Uh, that's so dangerous. There, it, it, like everybody flying would be a bloodbath, and then they'd fall I, from the sky and kill more people. It'd be hell. So you're going with um, the baby cone of silence? Yes, I just have to. One for the baby cone of silence, KB. 
Yeah, I think it's not practical, but flying is like a superpower and a fantasy. And then like putting a cone on a baby is something you probably just could do. <laughs> yeah. And it would probably muffle the sound. Yeah, that's true. I'm, I'm, I'm going got some flying. stuff in the works. You, are, KB, are you thinking like when a dog goes to the vet and they have that thing on them? Is that what a baby gets? I, whatever. You keep saying cone. I don't know. No, yeah, that's it's, just, it's it's it's. Um, just you don't really see it though. Oh, it's an invisible. invisible? Cone. I think there's just a way to make. Oh, this. invisible cone. Yeah, invisible oh, cone. Why didn't you say yeah. so? Yeah, we even <laughs> talked about flying. <laughs> I felt like it was implied. <laughs> yeah, inf implied invisibility. Yeah. All right. The the baby muffle is up three to two. Che. Why? Oh. Like, yeah. yeah. I mean, as a as a, I would not put that apparatus on my on my offspring. <laughs> apparatus. Flying. flying would be awesome. You have to assume if it. If everyone could do this, it would be somewhat regulated to the point where it's at least pretty safe. I don't even think it regulated. I think we would just like naturally, humanly figure it out. Like yeah. how we figure out walking and fucking running. Yeah, but walking is human nature, not fucking well, flying. Well, eventually it'd become human yeah. nature. I guess we all know how long Stephen Che's family would last in that movie, <laughs> A Quiet Place. <laughs> be unwilling to put the baby in the, the trunk violence. and the yeah, monsters would come and because and he's he doesn't want to do it to the kid it's the code of the have a cooler for the little kid so your idea stinks <laughs> <laughs> well yeah i mean it can be a cooler if you want that <laughs> uh we're three to three um i'll break the tie on this and i'll say personal flying Oh my god. Finally some fucking goddamn Boo. sense around here. I mean, personal flying is amazing. <laughs> yeah. I don't know why that it was so poo-pooed. Uh now we have the number one seed versus we have to again two chains. This, these chains are great. I'm very excited for these. Are these actual chain or so they're partial. It's uh so the first one in our chain, uh our 16 seed chain, I guess. Uh a helmet that doesn't make you look like a dork from Nick. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Helmets are safe. Uh, proven, and this is a super practical one. You guys have been fucking flying. Yeah. A cool helmet. <laughs> no, that's fair. That's yeah. very yeah. fair. <laughs> Do you have your helmet with you today? I, I don't, but I need to go get it. I, I gotta be really close on this mic. Can you guys I, hear me when I'm I like this? Is this okay? Kind yeah, not as fine. much. I need to be down here. Just move the thing up a this little. This whole situation oh, is shit. a nightmare. Move the lab up on your thing. I love a slip. Getting louder and louder out here. Um, I'll keep it close. Yeah. So after that, uh, sex dolls that appreciate my well-crafted jokes. Oh, oh my oh, God. Pat, Pat Bev, Bev oh, Bratza. Wow. <laughs> Don't you guys wish you were here? Yeah. 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 Wow. Thanks. Oh. Thank you, that Pat was Bev. Nice. Thank you, Thanks, Pat. Pat that was Bev. very nice. Thank you, guys. Oh, it's nice and hot, too. Oh, my God. <laughs> Just give us two beats. I guess I'll lower my mic for a minute. Um, Damn, Me I gotta move back because there's pizza. <laughs> Can't get that in Chicago. <laughs> I don't want a slice right now. What? Are you asking me if I want a slice? What? Can I have a slice? I mean, yeah. don't eat a yeah, slice. Don't eat, don't eat on the mic. <laughs> yeah, <That> wait. <laughs> yeah, just wait. I would say wait. It's going to get cold. See, this is where I could use my baby's cone of silence. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, it's a true. A silencing cone in general. Mm -hmm. In multiple sizes. <laughs> Mainly designed for babies. Yeah. Uh... So, sex dolls that appreciate my well-crafted jokes. That was from Nick. <laughs> yeah. I mean, <laughs> yeah. yeah. They're lifeless. Uh, wireless audio. Bang. <laughs> what the fuck, Kyle? <laughs> yes. <laughs> look at us. This is the oldest. We're going to look so old when our kids watch footage of us doing podcasts with all these wires. That's a good point. And yeah. Headphones and all the wires behind us, in front of us. Audio should be like Wi Fi. You, you just, it just gets it perfect. Just works. That's I agree. Yeah. And where where would it be like it's record it perfectly? Where would it be coming into? How would we be here? Like hypothetically, how would Can you be you? hearing my I'm voice? I'm already seeing like 20 years from now me looking at this with your headphones and your wire. I'm like, this is just this is so and it just comes like, into your ears. These like guys, when AirPods? was this? The 60s? <laughs> so like Air Prince this bitch ass holding that little ass mic. <laughs> <laughs> what what's your problem today, well, Steven? Blowing out the mic. I think you gotta move it further. <laughs> I want my pizza. <laughs> GPS. You said no. <laughs> GPS 3D projections. Projections. It goes without saying. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if it does. <laughs> like a car GPS, it just is a voice. I want like a your windshield projects a 3D like overhead like you want a HUD? cylinder arrow that you just follow. 
Like wow. oh, I, I don't hate. I don't hate that. I love that too. That did need explanation. Yeah, yeah that for sure so. did. Yeah. <laughs> no, yeah. It That's goes like a green with line saying, to follow. Yeah, mm-hmm. yeah. Uh, AI compatibility Bluetooth alerts both sexual and non-sexual. Yes, yes. Can you elaborate? Yeah, you guys can at least understand this. No. <laughs> so AI with TikTok and everything, it already knows exactly what you want to see and what your interests are based on what you say, what you do, and what you search. If this uh, was just like uh, a compatibility thing with humans, you're out. And if you have mutual interests or you have a lot of the same interests, it uh, will just send you a buzz on your phone. Or if you're both attracted to each other, it buzzes you. Uh huh. Okay, that makes more sense now that you actually explained it. But <laughs> nice to have your pizzas. No, dude, I would be so embarrassed if I was buzzing around a girl and she didn't buzz back. But it's only yeah. mutual. <laughs> only it's mutual. only mutual. That would make things awkward too. I still think. I still think. Entire office is eating pizza. Yeah. We're putting France on an inadvertent diet. I'm so hungry. <laughs> they just brought them here and the smell. It's actually great for the audio. Uh, you can't can, hear any background eat noise. Your pizza. Yeah, they finally can't. We finally can't hear any background noise because everyone have eating. your pizza. <laughs> yeah, I'm not going to eat that one. Uh, nightlife music menus. Mm. Oh. That's yeah, great. I want to know. I want to know what your playlist is going to be before I go, because music dictates how much. That is, that's a great it. fucking yeah. idea. Yeah. That's a fucking really good. But, but, but uh, that's hardly an invention. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's just like giving the DJ your playlist. But I no, but I wouldn't want to know every song that's going to be played. I think there's like a little bit of fun of being at a bar or a club where the surprise. Well, maybe like a, g- a general like a general like, vibe. It, it'll based on your Spotify. It'll tell you which bars play your type of music. Got it. Okay. I like that. That's cool. Yeah. No, I kind of like that. Uh, X-ray goggles for seeing people naked. That wasn't me. That seems like a chase. What was that? Kind of creep said that. Wasn't me. Well, who's the freak? <laughs> Francis. Francis. <laughs> what? <laughs> What's wrong with that? Doesn't have to be kids <laughs> i wasn't I, thinking kids <laughs> now i am no oh, jesus christ <laughs> we're all thinking kids we're all <laughs> thinking babies there, of the population do you think you'd want to see naked age restrictive no i think it's like goggles and percent it's probably one it's probably it's about 10 percent yeah 10 percent. oh i'm way more curious than you guys are. i don't think guys 15 so he's not thinking from a second i would only be like stunningly beautiful people and then enormous fat <laughs> i <laughs> I think about one in every five girls. I'm like, yeah, I'd like to see what her boobs look like. <laughs> uh, yeah. an- another interesting one, invisible Maybe condoms. More. It's way more, Tommy. Way invisible more. condoms? So you still have to wear the condom, but it, you just I can't see it? I don't think it's it? a, an aesthetic thing. It's not the it's look. Yeah, it makes my dick feel. bigger, if anything. Yeah, I think it's the feel, right? The lack so thereof. Who submitted this? Who submitted invisible condoms? What's that? Invisible. <laughs> you submitted invisible. Look, comments. you guys tell me to submit stuff. I don't really understand the assignment, <laughs> and I just think of random shit. Well, why invisible? Con- why would well, you it's invisible? a condom that is. You 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 don't feel any none of the pleasure, but you just don't see it. <laughs> it's yeah. actually there. It's actually there, but you don't lose any sensation. Well, that wouldn't be invisibility. Yeah. How yeah. would you describe it, Tommy? I don't know, like like uh, birth control, male birth control. Yeah, probably something like that. A no, but there's no risk of. You, it also protects you against STDs. Both sides. And in the invisible condom. <laughs> you should have picked an STD. Do you have show. to like physically put something on your dick? <laughs> All right, let's roll. Call it it would make your dick thing. invisible too. <laughs> it <laughs> looked like a mime. <laughs> let's, <laughs> let's call it a, a penile cone of silence. Okay. If okay. you forget to take it off and you go piss and it's just like inflate. <laughs> 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 oh fuck. <laughs> uh, um, uh, parachutes that are more mobile slash compact that you can take anywhere. Chair. Yeah, that'd be awesome to take on an airplane. Sounds like yeah. flying to a degree. Yeah, but it, his is you're not actually no, it flying. Doesn't. It's it's you are, I guess, gliding. Yeah, you could bring it to the top of a mountain and just go if you wanted to. Soaring through the air. Yeah. Okay. I wouldn't want that. Uh, I would and, want it for safety on like a plane. Sure. And then the last one, which is a very fun one, uh, a diaper that recycles your own sewage into drinkable water. Mm. What? Francis. Yep. That's got to be Francis. Yeah. Didn't what? Bill Gates do that? That's a really good one. No, Bill Gates improved sewage systems in third world countries. Mm-hmm. So we can go through and we can pick a chain. Uh, the helmet. I that- thought Bill Gates was drinking shit water, though. Didn't he go on a TV show and drink shit water? Water that was extracted from poop? 
I think you're right about that. That mm -hmm. is a good point. Okay. A uh, helmet that doesn't make you look like a dork. Sex dolls that appreciate your well-crafted jokes. Wireless audio, 3D GPS, AI compatibility, Bluetooth alerts, nightlife music menus, x-ray goggles for seeing people naked, invisible condoms, parachutes that are more compact, and a diaper that recycles your own piss and shit into water. Uh, let's start with you, Che. Which one do you want to win this chain? I feel like KB's right with this audio thing. Like, we just have too many plugs, and I'm a guy who is a hardware guy. Like, I have Bluetooth headphones, but I actually plug them in. But now, thinking about it, yeah, I am going to look outdated very quickly. So there's way too many, way too much of this. Let's get mm. rid of that. KB? I like, uh, I love, I love all of mine. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> but I like uh, the GPS one. I think about a lot. The GPS? Mm -hmm. Just being, I do like the idea of like a HUD on your windshield. That just tells you where to be. That is yeah. a good idea. Uh, Nick? Uh, the GPS one, it seems feasible. My mind can comprehend it. And like thinking, like imagine if you're wearing like glasses. So it like showed you a path, like when you're walking around the city. Even when you're, yeah, when you're yeah. walking. Yeah. Yeah. Marty? Uh, yeah. I'm in between that and the nightlife menu. I think the nightlife menu, the music menu is so good. I, I'm going to go with the music menu. Nightlife music like menu. Francis? I think the x-ray goggles would help us really combat body shaming. If everyone can see everyone else naked, then I think there's no more kind of, it's all out in the open. It becomes much more accepted. And and then you don't have to prosecute people for flashing their penis and stuff like that, mm -hmm. which is nice. Yeah, no more public nudity. Huge. Yeah. Uh, I'm going to go with the audio, no wires. It is The wires are ridiculous. I don't know. I'm trying to think of logistically how it would work. Like it just is into your ears or it's like a small little fucking sticker or something you could put maybe next to your ears and you hear. What's your idea, Katie? We have recording devices already. You just, it's a, maybe a little box in it, but it just captures your audio. Right, but how, right Perfect. now, how would you be hearing me without the headphones? Did, they, did we lose them? We just lose connection. They just froze. Can KB you hear us? Very now, we got now, you. now we got you. Now we got you. You guys were frozen, yeah. yeah. I said, like, how would, if you didn't have headphones on right now, we're doing this show, how do you hear me? What are you hearing how me How does Wi-Fi work? I don't know, but that's not what I'm asking. I, I don't know either. <laughs> it, was, it was invented. <laughs> All right. Uh, so we're tied up between the wireless audio and the GPS 3D projections. Uh, Gooch, I didn't know we could get a good audio in on you. Which one do you want to break? The GPS, GPS projection? There it is. Uh, yep. GPS projection is going to go up against the number one seed, which is a bit of a, of a wagon. It's teleportation. Teleportation, instantly tra teleport anywhere you want. Now, are we talking like fucking jumper or looper or whatever yeah. it's called? Or like really high speed transit systems? I was thinking like literal teleportation. That's totally, why would it be yeah. trains? I mean, the teleportation is just never going to happen. Like from Star Trek or something. Like it's like you just instantly like you beam somewhere. More I bad mean, than good would come Society would crumble. Crumble immediately. Ima imagine high density places would be ruined. Like, mm. Or maybe. Yeah, I, I kind of think... We'd all just be the, in the coolest places. I kind of think the way to... is Can I ask, is like high-speed transportation on here? Uh, it's not. I think that is the better one that would not make society crumble. Why, why would it crumble? Explain that when to me. When people found out that where Taylor Swift was at that wedding, they had to uh, close down the street. Imagine yeah. when people could get there instantly. So maybe it's only to certain like pads and there, there would be regulation yeah. of it. But it just means that instead of that point, air fly. travel, you're going to yeah. do it and you're going to get there immediately. Yeah, well, everything would go down. You don't have to buy tickets to concerts anymore. You just transport right in. Yeah, like that would like, crumble. Yeah. That, you, like, I guess there's like no fly zones, basically. Like No transport zones? Yeah, no, no transport. You could like buy a ticket to the pad and then you go to yeah. where you Yeah, let's think about it like that. that. Would, there we go. Okay. Think that works? It would be cool, but impossible. I, I kind of I kind of think replacing it with like just very high speed transit is is better. Like well, being able to get different things. Being able to get from exists. New York to London in an hour on a on a fucking train or something. You're just trying to put your own idea into this one. I can get that about. instantly. I can get we can get it instantly with teleportation. Yeah, but that's never going to happen. Yeah. All right. Uh, I like that we're kind of gatekeeping like if it's ever going to happen or not because that's how I kind of was doing it too. Oh, we'll we'll get to Marty's. Yeah. That's more yeah, like yeah. 
flaw. Tommy, human this is ridiculous. You can't just butcher my submission. It is Francis's. It's yeah. way more like you don't get to just say this doesn't. This can't happen. It can't happen. So I'm gonna vote for the fucking GI map. Yeah, but I mean, if we were playing this <laughs> yeah. game 400 years ago, they probably would have said that you could never get into an airplane in the sky and fly. No, I would have been able to conceive that. You're fucking taking liberties. <laughs> I don't. I don't agree with. I uh, mean, teleportation would be all, but I. I do agree. Like, it would almost cause more pro. Like, people not being able to get places instantly is just a thing that helps society regulate itself. Yeah, but again, it's. I think this is like there's there's. It's highly regulated. There's barriers to entry. You know you can't, I mean? Yeah, there's going to be, you can't teleport into a women's changing room. You can't, yeah. you know. Well, then what's the fucking There's point? the pads. <laughs> because you can teleport it's, from it's here to London. travel. It yeah. is okay. travel. It's and you, travel teleport. Yes. Yeah. Not like bank robberies. Oh, okay. No. It's not like, loot. yeah, so loot like you're using home from here. I didn't mean there's something in your oh. belt where you're just like, uh, London, and you just go there. It's like you have to, there's. All right, then, then that. Okay, so one for teleportation, Francis. I'm glad we really squeezed the juice out yeah, of that one. Yeah, um, exactly. Teleportation, a hundred percent. Just the amount of time. Any any invention that cuts back on things that take a ton of time. I just flew back from Phoenix on a Sunday. I lost the entire fucking day, mm. the whole day. Do you remember how cool it was when the Concorde came out? Mm -hmm. like people were going nuts for it. Did London to New York in two hours or whatever. Like yeah. he went ballistic for it. Uh, it was too loud. It was a little too loud. Is that lost a lot of gas or something? Pretty dangerous too, because like it was pointed. The nose was pointed up. Yeah, I think it just skin. guzzled fuel and wasn't efficient yeah. for the ticket yeah. price or something. Uh, Marty, GPS. I love the GPS idea. I think I, I want to say. I think it could happen soon. KB. Mm -hmm. I feel like if we get a little steam behind it. I feel like the technology is there. there. Yes, yeah. it exists. Just project having that because sometimes there's some turns that you're not sure if you should be making it there or the next little one. Right. But if I have it right in front of my face saying it's this one, mm -hmm. I like that. Uh, Nick? If Francis would have submitted like high speed rail or something, maybe he would have my attention. <laughs> um, I'm going to go with like the, yeah, the GPS overlay. GPS overlay, KB. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, by far. <laughs> Fucking insane. <By> far. <laughs> Jay? So the choices are an easier way to navigate driving in your car mm -hmm. or the opportunity to get wherever you want instantly. Yeah. I'm going to go with that one. But we're going to talk about trans like if there's like uh, transport, what is it called? The teleportation. Teleportation. I feel like it's going to have to cost a ton of money. For you to do it, it would be it would be insanely expensive. It, yeah. would, it would almost be to the point of impracticality. But eventually, I mean, you know, I'm sure flying on a plane at first was insanely. You're just expensive. dissecting poor Francis's idea. Well, they're just taking these ridiculous liberties. Like, well, that would violate the FAA's trade routes. <laughs> yeah. And, yeah, this uh, is a serious invention. Podcast. We don't know how it is invented. It could be. Yes, I'm sure the first generation of teleportation would have a, a few bugs that would need fixing <laughs> but by the time it became viable it would be flawless seamless and we would wonder how we ever took a four hour train from new york to boston mm -hmm. Get him. or bus all right we're tied up gooch teleportation thank you gooch it was a good fight it was a good fight. it was a great fight you guys did put up a good effort uh before we get to the second half let's hear from Z, Z biotics actually you know what's kind of funny is you or, or somebody else submitted something similar to this. But anyway, Z-Biotics, we all have busy lives these days and we can't afford to waste a day stuck on the couch because of a few drinks the night before. Z-Biotics is the answer that we've all been looking for. Nick, I know you actually, you recommended them to me first, if I remember correctly, Z-Biotics. Yeah, they they work so well. Mm -hmm. really like, you guys know I like to get absolutely fucking mangled. <laughs> they call you the beer guy at Barstool. Mm -hmm. uh, Z-Biotics pre- so I'm Dana's so fucking still fat. in fucking Cincinnati. I, oh, I saw him today. <laughs> okay. Uh, Zbiotics pre-alcohol probiotic is the world's first genetically engineered probiotic. It is the invented by PhD scientists to tackle rough mornings after drinking. Here's how it works: when you drink, alcohol gets converted into a toxic byproduct in the gut, and it's in this byproduct, not dehydration, that is to blame for your rough next day. Zbiotics produces an enzyme to break this byproduct down. It's designed to work like your liver, basically, but in your gut where you need it the most. 
Just remember to drink z before drinking alcohol, drink responsibly, and get a good night's sleep to feel your best tomorrow. I used z when I was in AC recently. It was awesome. It worked great. And now, like, like I said, Nick recommended, he's like, oh, do you have z on your desk? Because we had just gotten our sample. I and wanted to steal them. You did want to steal them. I didn't let you steal yeah. them. I took them. Uh, yeah. Loved them. Uh, and this Halloween, you can pair your candy and cocktails with z to avoid a, sp- a spooky next morning. That's in the ad read. I didn't put that there. Go to zbiotics.com and get 15 uh, zbiotics.com slash LCB to get 15% off your first order when you use LCB at checkout. You can also sign up for the sub- first subscription using my code so that you can stay prepared no matter what time or what the time or occasion is. Zbiotics is backed with a 100% money back guarantee. So that if you're unsatisfied for any reason, they'll refund your money, no questions asked. All right, other side of the bracket. Uh, number six, first 11, our six seed today. Ooh, it's an interesting one. Six seed is being able to send some of your battery life to another phone by tapping. Yeah. Not bad. You can own it, Nick. I really like this one. I, yeah, I, really... I thought it was cool. Like, you can, like, sh- pay people. Like, imagine if your phone's dying and I'm on, like, 90%. I'm like, here, take 15. Oh, yeah. That'll be sick. Mm-hmm. It's I really like that Justin Timberlake movie where they, the currency is time. I saw, I saw a TikTok about that, and I was like, huh. <laughs> Uh, and that's going up against the number 11 seed, an instantly cold fridge. So like Yeah, you, that's mine too. Yeah, that's also Nick's. Uh, so you put it, and it, I'm assuming the idea is you just literally anything in, you put it in for a second, instantly cold. It could, it, yeah, yeah, mm-hmm. it could be the size of one beer can. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Done. Yeah, or enough to fit. Because like, also, drinks take up the most room in a fridge. Imagine if you could put your drinks in a cabinet, and then just boom. Yeah, right. yeah. that's a great point. I have... I have had so many beer cans explode in the freezer because I put them in to forget. make them cold faster, yeah. and then you forget, and then they explode. Chase, which one do you, which one of these do you like better? I was actually shown a trick maybe like ten years ago, where if you take like a wine bottle or a beer can, wet or whatever, paper towel, the wet paper towel, and put it in the freezer for five minutes, it's very cold. Mm-hmm. Hmm. It's very efficient, but you can only do it like once at a time. It is, is yes, kind of yes, yeah. yes, true. Yeah, which is uh, frustrating. So, sorry, it's fridge or... Versus one? being able to send your battery to somebody else, basically. Uh, I guess fridge, just because, like, battery life, like, they have other chargers where you can just, tr- like, a backup battery for your phone. So, I feel like that kind of eliminate, like, makes it obsolete almost. So, mm-hmm. uh, I'll go with... But that's another thing that makes us feel, will feel so ancient, is constantly plugging your phone into the wall and your, in your MacBook and your computer... So, right, so let's call it a motion-activated, uh, self-powering phone. What do you mean by, by motion activated? In the same way that watches are powered by motion. Are you changing my idea? Yeah. Maybe you take a pill and it yeah, makes your phone in your hand. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah. Over. A, pill. Yeah. a pill that charges your phone. There. Uh, <laughs> I like that. Yeah. <laughs> Wait, can we put that on the graphic, please, yes. just to confuse yes. people? Uh, yeah. A Which, pill that charges going on. your phone. <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> I, mean, I would take that pill. <laughs> <laughs> That's amazing. <laughs> that, yeah, is, uh, you get addicted, you just always have a hundred percent charge. <laughs> and this one simple pill it's fucking is three days battery life for my cell phone. Purdue Pharma lawsuit. <laughs> <laughs> no explanation. <laughs> I think they, they've worked on, like, uh, wireless charging, right? I think that's something that's, like, on the horizon, which is kind of yeah, cool. Yeah, yeah. But, but, I mean, Apple... Graphic, do the picture of the pic- uh, the capsule on the tongue so people yeah. know you swallow the pill. Yep. I legitimately believe this probably is possible. Or- not the pill. Like, like wireless, <laughs> wireless charging, charging probably is possible already, and, like, they just don't do it because they want people to buy cell phone chargers. No, dude, it's, it's those pads. You put them on. But those, yeah. those, yeah. no. Yeah, but I, I hate work. those things. By the way, <laughs> they work. Right. But then you can It's only it's overnight. Fun, right? Oh yeah, I do you like being able to hold your phone? Yeah, uh, they should make a glove. Oh, yeah. a, a glove that makes you- a pill that makes you grow a glove <laughs> yes. on your hand. <laughs> that can charge your phone. Yeah. <laughs> so, KB, are you picking um, the pill? The pill that gives you battery, yeah. or the pill that gives you instantly cold drinks? Dude, a pill? All you have to do is wait 30 minutes for it to ingest, and then you have a fully charged phone? That's <laughs> utopia. Yeah. This is this is one of those that bracket episodes that I win, and uh, uh, it's going to win. It. <laughs> yep. <laughs> Nick, you're voting for that? Just think of it. It's like, you okay, phone. I have the pill that charges my phone just in case. You're at the bar. Oh, 10%? Well, you're fine. <laughs> <laughs> Marty. 
Yeah. Oh, this is so stupid. Uh, I listen. <laughs> I was all for the drinks, but the pill <laughs> charging your phone. Yeah, That'd be such on, a yeah. funny thing to just be like, yeah. "All right, I think it's about to happen." Boom, hundred <laughs> percent. <laughs> so yeah, go and charge your phone, uh, Francis. Yeah, it's a pill that charges your phone. <laughs> I can't believe it's, it's, we have the ability to make something like that. <laughs> uh, it's practical. It doesn't yeah. charge your phone instantly. No, it like charges it like it was plugged into a wall. Over time. Just yeah. seems like that's definitely possible, whereas <laughs> teleportation, there's just no feasible way. It's way blocks. more possible than teleportation. Uh, Tommy? Yeah, it is a phone, wallet, keys, pill that will charge my phone like exactly. that every time you leave the house. Exactly. Get, get a little, like, the, your grandpa's, like, pill case. Monday, Tuesday, oh, that's Wednesday. Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I took the wrong pill. My <laughs> mouth is clean. <laughs> this is so perfect, I got by a way. clean mouth and a dead phone. <laughs> yeah. this, is, this is so perfect, by the way, because the literal, the next matchup is the number three seed. Pills that give you the equivalent of eight hours rest. This is Chase. <laughs> Which is a great one. I do. I we, love that one. I think I submitted been to recording? Like that too. Chase was like the one of the first. What, sorry, what? How long have we been recording? About an hour. Uh, call, an hour. Call the episode. It's over. <laughs> it's over in the, for pills. Yeah. <laughs> uh, uh, so it's the eight hour sleep pill versus number 14 seed. Uh, former producer, Hooters for Asses. Former producer? Or for our, from our producer. So Hooters, Hooters, but for, for Asses. Oh, uh, Tudors. Oh, like oh, Hooters the restaurant, good but with big asses. Yeah. Like Tudors. That would be sick. Hooters has very good food. Yeah, that's but, true. I mean, pill for, pill for sleep. Like, if you could extend your day where you essentially don't have to sleep, this is like a pill for your phone, but for yourself. So <laughs> I'm going to go with that. Uh, t- sorry, so Tommy, it was actually... Um, this is tough because I'm a tits guy. But also... I do think, like, I, I think, and I put, you know, something similar on my list, whatever, chamber where you fucking go get your rest. But I do think, like, having no sleep, like, having just 20, like, having a continuous life where there's no break and no rest to actually sleep might actually end up being, like, a horrible thing. You'd go insane. Yeah. Like, I know, whatever, you take the pill, you charge up, but, like, there is something just, like, rest in your mind, too. Um well, and then there's just yeah, Adderall, you but it, it gives you it gives, it gives you the you full that. effect of that. Yeah, yeah that's what it's so for. You have that. Like you're st- no, I understand, but then like your life never stop. Like you, you. But you can choose to stop. To take yeah, break. yeah. But then if everybody's taking the pills, you're gonna be. Like, I'm gonna be the one guy that shuts off life for eight hours, and you fall behind. No, at work. you wouldn't. You wouldn't. Naps. You wouldn't miss eight hours. But you could go shut your life down for two hours and watch TV and zone out and chill, whatever. But I'm saying then 22 hours of your day is spent being out there. And, and everybody doing it, you'd feel behind. You feel like if I choose to sleep instead, uh, like, we, you know... You'd have, yeah, I don't think... It, once this pill came out, nobody would be sleeping anymore. Exactly. You'd yeah. have 18-hour work days Society would crumble like teleportation. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, so which one are you going? I'm going to go with... I'll go with the sleep one just because take them or leave them as far as asses go but uh i do think there's gonna be issues with the sleep one francis it's definitely the sleep one all of a sudden you are basically extending your life by 33 percent um and you get to choose what you do with that time but sleep is the biggest reason we, we we miss life because we have to sleep it is or is it a beautiful weakness. part of life Huh? Yeah, I think or it's an it escape. A, yeah, but there's nothing that like I I I enjoy sleep because I have to do it. If I didn't have to sleep and I could still function with the same level of alertness and you know recovery and all of that, and I could and I could experience life more, I just feel like I'd I'd I'd, I'd I don't know I'd I'd learn musical instruments I'd I'd read more books I'd go to more places I'd do more more work I'd be more productive and yeah that would be massive going for the sleep pill marty it's definitely the sleep pill but i always thought about like who told us we have to be sleeping at night i feel like there's the different biology who like as opposed to during the day i feel like there's a world happening when we're sleeping and everyone else like who's why does everyone have to sleep at night there are some people that sleep every like 20 minutes right yeah yeah what's that what's that called sleep sleep sleeping doesn't, doesn't Frank did that, didn't yeah. 
Yeah, Frank Frank does do that, yeah. <laughs> Imagine taking a one minute sleep every 20 minutes. How would that go? Uh, that doesn't <laughs> seem good. That sounds horrible. Yeah, I don't know. I'm just... Everybody has sounded so dumb today. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, so Marty, Imagine, if you will, one minute <laughs> every sleep. 20 minutes. Uh, Nick? Um, I really for, like sleeping. What's that going up against? Hooters for butts. I mean, if a Hooters for butts open, that line would stretch <laughs> from Atlanta to Memphis. Wait, wait, yeah. <laughs> Hiring a wait staff with fat asses isn't an invention. <laughs> it's just <laughs> what race is your owner? <laughs> <laughs> uh, shit. Uh, um, yeah, Hooters for asses. Uh, I'll do sleep here. I'll do the sleep pill here. Sleep, KB. Yeah, I like the sleep. Yeah, and Jake. Yeah. You also had sleep as well. So sleep's clean, oh, yeah. sweet. Uh, now we have the number seven versus the ten. The seven seed is, I like this one too, this is Tommy's. Uh, dream saving technology where you can watch them back. So the next day, or I guess you could just save them forever. Yeah, this uh, is my number one for one thing I want. Just you have a yeah. dream and you always remember. I mean, you dream so much that you don't even remember, but they have one and then you get to watch it back the next day like a TV show. I think that would be fucking sick. I don't know. And I feel like it's, I don't know how feasible it is, but it seems. Imp- it's literally impossible. I don't see any way. In that. No. I think it seems feasible. Yeah. You could like hook up shit to your brain synapses. Have you considered, yeah. have you well, considered now, brain now synapses? Oh, yeah, oh, synapses? Oh, yeah. Synapses. Oh, that's it. Yeah. I don't think nobody here considered <laughs> brain synapses. Oh. I did, Tommy. Tommy, I did. Yeah. Nick did. <laughs> Love you. <laughs> Love you too, man. So dream saving tech is going up against the number 10 seed. Um, a machine that washes, dries, and folds your clothes all at once. Ooh. Whoa. Oh. Like a, a wife? Lo- <laughs> 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 God. Uh, so we'll start with you, uh, Che. Uh, the laundry, for sure. The, the other one is um, the dr- watching dreams back. Like, how often do you wake up and you're like, man, I really want to think about that dream that oh, every morning. Yeah, yeah pretty lot. often. Yeah, yeah, every morning. Everyone it's over. Wake up, like, wakes up and does that. I feel yeah. Like. No, I mean, hearing about other dream, people's dreams is the worst. It is. Yeah, I mean, you're not showing other to other people. Just for yourself. Just for yourself. You'd learn a lot about yourself. You'd get a lot of people going, come check out this dream I had last oh, night. Yeah. Though. That's true. Yeah. That's, yeah, but that would be better them. than here's what happened. In it's there. like me describing a movie to you versus you watching. Right. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. Yeah, I I, I'm, I'm still not on that train. Um, so the the laundry, laundry machi- machine, uh, KB. Uh, I think the dream thing is cool. I think that would be. <laughs> Why fun. do you say it like that? <laughs> yeah, I think. Thank you, Bow. Thank you, Bow. You, you sound like you're hiring at the Hooters for ass. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so you're going with the dream machine. Yeah, dream machine, Nick. Yeah, dream machine for sure. This is an awesome idea. Dream Machine for sure? Yeah, I think Dream Machine. I think it could definitely be fun to wake up. And it's a nice way to wake up, too. What if it's like a great movie, your dream? That's what I'm yeah, saying. Like, yeah. like w- pa- watching that on your commute into work would be sick. Yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm. I do kind of imagine Marty's like, do you remember that, that SpongeBob thing with it was Patrick's dream? It's just him on the, what do you call it? The ride and the quarters run out. And he just like, <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. I never remember my dreams, too. Yeah, so I would love but to like, see that. Uh, there is a fear of having like your dreams leak. I'm fucking Tommy's girl. Yeah. <laughs> Don't even joke. <laughs> <laughs> That's a nightmare, Tommy. I swear. To God. <laughs> uh, Francis. Um, yeah, I like the the laundry one, but I, I'm thinking it'd be better if it were that you that you could take a pill that would <laughs> hold your laundry. And, yeah. Wow, I wish I would have submitted that. Yeah. That would be easier. It's a better invention. <laughs> Um, <laughs> every, so, every submission should have been a pill. You got, no, you got another yeah, pill coming up. Needs to be a pill. I also think. I also think I've had some really horrific nightmares, and I guess you can. I mean, you just don't have. You just to don't have to watch, watch them. Yeah. But the curiosity, I think, it would get. Also, though, I think like watching a nightmare back, knowing like, hey, this isn't real, wouldn't it be that. Like when you're in a nightmare, you're like, holy fuck, this is really happening. Like watching yeah, back, being like, "This is a dream; it didn't happen." Might not be as horrifying. Yeah, but then you see the face of like, let's say, the person that was trying to kill you, and then that's like haunting you. It would yeah. only lead to more nightmares. Again, you just don't have to watch it. Yeah, don't watch it. Uh, so I'm gonna go with the pill for the f- clothing. Oh, you're doing the p- the clothing pill. <laughs> Sorry, excuse me. It's yeah. it's uh, an invention. Whatever the hell Stephen <laughs> J said. Uh, 
Tommy? Uh, I mean, I like both of these. Whoever submitted the the washer one is obviously a true Tommy's Thursday Thoughts fan. That's for, uh, an old throwback, an oldie but a goodie, is that we needed that uh, type of invention. Uh, so, but the dream saving one is also a throwback Tommy's Thursday oh, Thoughts, oldie nice. but a goodie. Uh, both. Uh, people agreed with some some I would say some ATCs all time classics. So I will go with the dream saving technology. Starting that back up. Thursday thoughts. Yeah. No, no, no. No. You're retired. I'm retired. I'm retired forever. All right. So the dream- person's clamoring for it, Tommy. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> all right. So dream saving tech's gonna move on. Now our last matchup. Uh number two versus the fifteenth here. Second chain. Our second chain is basically all Marty's. Uh, all of option. Them? Every single one of Marty's options because they're very interesting. Um, the first of which being uh, air conditioned underwear. Oh, which, yeah. It's not I bad. Like it. <laughs> I like not it. Bad at all. Yeah. No, they're not all bad. <laughs> they're not all bad. When you submitted it, I told you. I was like, I love yeah, this one. It's just a nice little breeze once in a while. It would be nice. Uh, a button on the table for the waiter. That does exist. I've, I've been what? to places that have that. Really? Yeah. A button on the table that instantly calls your waiter. I don't hate that one either. And it, but it exists. It's more yeah, but like, like not real. M- more commonly, I it's guess. More for like the check. They have in the movie theater restaurants. They do have in the movie theater restaurants. And I want them to have a collar on that buzzes. <laughs> 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 it just shocks them. Yeah. yeah, it's like a cone or something, basically. Uh, a delivery delivery air fryer, so fries. <laughs> a pill that makes your waiter come to your table. <laughs> Where the hell is my waiter? <laughs> delivery air fryer, so fries stay crisp. Yeah. So what do you mean? Like they, their backpack is an air fryer? Yeah. Basically. Just so like more of your food doesn't come. I do. Like oh, what about yeah. what about it, 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 the food that just cooks in the delivery backpack? I do like oh, that yeah, a lot. Yeah. It's gone. yeah, I'm with that as it's well. It's like a big microwave basically on their back. Mm-hmm. I don't like that. Uh, a pill to get drunk. <laughs> <laughs> That's oh, maybe the worst one. <laughs> <laughs> That's, not good. That's not viable. I knew I was hoping uh, you skipped that. No, <laughs> it's no it's way also like drinking's f- f- like. No, I don't like the product. So I understand it is, but like when you have to do so many drinks, it's just like it hurts, sits in my chest. Uh, oh, yeah, you can't burp either. It'd be a lot yeah. less caloric. Yeah, they also just imagine have, if they you just were just trying to drugs. charge your phone, you end up hammered. <laughs> 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 or you start folding laundry. <laughs> Uh, What's this waiter doing here? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, closet, a closet that spits out what to wear. Uh, I do like that one. Like I, yeah. they just pick your outfit for you, basically. Yeah, that's like in the movie Clueless. Yeah, good callback. Uh, change, changing the name of meatloaf. Yes. In the future, I think that it should be changed completely. Meatloaf's a really delicious meal. Not quite sure that's what I'd categorize as an invention. Why not? (laughs) (laughs) You can't invent flying, dummy. You can't rename something something is not an invention. Flying is you can't rename something that's an invention. Invent something to brush my teeth. No, that's an invention. (laughs) Brush your teeth, Tommy. Don't don't. (laughs) and this one, I have no idea what you're going for on this one. Uh, the Kardashian phone chargers tap 100%. Well, yeah, the, now that we have a pill for it, it doesn't matter. But I feel like, <laughs> have, do you think any of like like A-list celebrities like that ever, phone ever died? There's no way they've oh, ever. Oh, yeah. No. Oh, yeah. No chance. They might just have multiple phones. I think they just zap it and it's a, to 100 right away. It's like a uh, phone. 100%. But again, we, we got a pill. That with the pills. So. Uh, yeah, the pills already covered that. Uh, so, among the mush play, and we have air conditioned underwear, uh, button at the table for a waiter, delivery air fryer, uh, pill to get drunk, uh, closet that spits out what to wear, changing the name of meatloaf, and the Kardashian phone thing, which is inert. So, we're going to delete that one. Uh, so, we'll start with you, Tommy. Which one do you want from the mush play? I'm gonna go with air conditioned underwear. I, I I get a lot of swamp ass, a lot of <laughs> discomfort down there. Uh, you know, you you have to wear boxers and shorts or pants. Like you you no matter what, you have two layers of things on, so you're gonna get some sweat, uh, some discomfort. So to have something that keeps it all cool down there, especially you know a long flight, a long plane, train or drive, whatever, uh, I'll go with that. I think. A lot of blood passes through your, you know, thighs, groin, genital region. Um, and I think you could really cool off your much of your body by having air-conditioned underwear. I really like this one 
I'll go with air conditioned underwear. Air conditioned underwear. I'm going with that one too because you ever been on a flight that the yeah. air conditioning's not working and your whole entire you're like just yeah. dying. Uh, it's the worst probably experience ever. Yeah. Yeah. And you just do a little, whoo, and you're like, oh, you're all good after that. Nick. Yeah, that would feel so good. I want it on. I want it on me right now. I was showing him before. They have a thing now where you can plug it kind of into your bed between your mattress and your sh- your bed sheet. And it's an air conditioner that just blows air into that layer between your comforter and your your sheet. Oh, that's amazing! It's a, it's awesome looking. I want one so bad. Uh, KB, I love the the pill that makes you drunk. I Thank you, KB. I think it's the best high, and we've ex- just accepted that every other high you can take a swallow of a pill, but we just accept that we have to drink eighty four ounces of poison to experience <laughs> such a f- wonderful sensation <laughs> but i think part of the drinking is the social there, aspect of social drinking. Aspect, yeah but yeah but the social aspect like you can still you're gonna be drunk yeah i mean you could still... probably chop up a few lines of those pills as like a communal yeah <laughs> you know mm-hmm. let's do bumps of this yeah that makes it more social okay <laughs> yeah i think kb sold me on that yeah why do we have to drink getting drunk too fast is awful yeah, like I agree. I think you get, the, you get too you get hammered right too early, that sucks. Part oh, of the fun yeah. of being drunk is like the progression to get there. Oh, what yeah. about when you're behind, like you, you get to a party and you're behind? Friends, That'll like, be good. And you're like, these okay, people fair. are or, so annoying when they're drunk and I'm sober, I need to catch up fast. Or you could have a yeah. slow release pill. You could have one that sort of is a very gradual runway. Yeah, you know, yeah. Two like or, three. And then, or you got like a five coming over, a five and a half, and you're not horny enough for her yet. So you're like, <laughs> let me quick, let me take a pill to get horny enough for this five and yep, a half. Yep, yep. And you then you could take a, a counter pill if two hours in to getting too drunk, you were like, oh, this, I don't want to be drunk anymore. This pill is going to cancel it out and make me feel better. Mm-hmm. So I would love an undrunk pill. An undrunk pill? Undrunk yeah. pill. Let's change it to undrunk pill. Well, we have Z-Biotics. Well, air-conditioned underwear. <laughs> it's a good uh, Air-conditioned underwear is going to win. Good. Yeah, that's a good Unfortunately, one. air-conditioned underwear is really good. Uh, so that's going up against the number two seed. Another. Can I make a late submission? Um, what about, I was thinking of submitting like the limitless pill. Well, yeah. Well, that's basically kind of like the, not the eight-hour pill because it makes you smarter, I guess. Yeah, that would be like unlocking more of your brain. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I always think, do you guys think that you have a talent that you have no idea about? Yes. Probably. No. I think I do too. Yeah. You no, know, Trey knows all his talents. Yeah. I think everyone has something that they have no, like you, just something you never tried and you're like, oh fuck, I could have been good at that. So the number two seed was, um, and everyone had a variation of this, so we just said like weight loss slash fitness pill. So like a pill where like you just wouldn't have to work out, you'd just be ripped 24 seven, something like that. But we can switch that to the limitless pill if you guys would rather that. Mm. Um, limitless stick pill with the is workout kind of a coverall. Well. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So you would rather stick like with the fitness? Yeah. 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 So let's do the yeah. get ripped pill. Get ripped pill versus air conditioned underwear. Uh, Che. Get ripped pill. Just eat whatever you want and look awesome. Yeah, get ripped pill. Get ripped pill. I hate that. <laughs> <laughs> Why? There's no uh, there's, there's no clear cut separation between the mentally weak and. <laughs> 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 yeah. uh, so <laughs> you're gonna air condition underwear. Yeah, air, air conditioned underwear, Nick. Yeah, give me the get ripped pill. <laughs> Get uh, Kyle would be that. so no, mad. No, Kyle yeah. no, I'd be so mad. I'd walk in <laughs> bigger than you. Oh, Kyle, were you at the gym this morning? <laughs> <laughs> were you walking Sorry, around? I'm late. I slept in until 1230. <laughs> Kyle, were you walking around Harlem trying to find purple sneakers? <laughs> 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 I just took a pill. <laughs> uh, get ripped pill from Nick. Air yeah, condition. I, I still don't want to be that ripped. I don't want to. Is the pill going to make me look like everyone else that takes a pill? I don't know. I feel like maybe there's different variations to it. Like you could be like, I want to be like bulky, strong, or I want to be like ripped. If that or... pill existed, Barstool wouldn't exist. <laughs> That's true. Every, <laughs> every, we wouldn't have any pens anymore. Be... No more pens. <laughs> no more pens. <laughs> like fat pens. No. Yeah. Oh, uh, <laughs> no. I mean, like people Everybody's wouldn't... ripped. Nobody's going to write in anymore. Yeah. <laughs> uh, Francis? Uh, I agree kind of with Kyle's uh, assertion here, which is that it would level the playing field so much that I don't That's know. That's your biggest fear. <laughs> well, how else am I going to know how much better I am than it's other true. people? That's right. Um, 
No, but uh, I, I like. I still do really like the air conditioned underwear. So I'm going to go with that. Are you too in favor of air conditioned underwear? Uh, get ripped pill. Get ripped pill. Get ripped pill. All right. We'll see. So I'm very interested how Gooch votes on this because, like both KB and Francis, he does. He works out. He does blah boxing classes. So I don't know where he's going to go. We'll see. What do you think, Gooch? Imagine not having to do those classes. Yeah. <laughs> They're gatekeeping. <laughs> Oh, oh, oh <laughs> So air conditioning under, we're going to move on. Uh, yep. Before we get into the playoffs, let's hear from our second to last sponsor of the day, Omaha Steaks. I do love, I love Omaha Steaks. Fall is in the air, and that means Yummy. that we're looking forward to crisp warnings, falling leaves, and sweater weather. More importantly, it's the perfect time for fall grilling, tailgating, and cozy comfort food. Omaha Steaks has all of your fall cravings covered with 50% off site-wide during their semi-annual sale. That's 50% off all of your favorite tender, juicy, extra-aged steaks like the Butcher's Cut Filet Mignons. And, oh, I love a Butcher Cut. I feel like you know more about meat than most of us, right? Well, I don't know. I'm not. No, Dude, Frank I don't the know Tank, that I would say uh, that I do. Frank the Tank made me an Omaha steak here. And it was more, it was the best steak I've ever had. It was so good, incredible. even Frank can't even fuck it up. Yeah, exactly. So, I like a uh, London broil. Ooh, I do. I like a, I like a ribeye. Mm-hmm. Like some good slow cooker. Go to omahasteaks.com today and use code LIGHTS at checkout to get an extra $30 off your order. Minimum purchases do apply. Uh, with Omaha Steaks, the possibilities are endless, endless flavor and endless value on incredible entrees, scrumptious sides, decadent desserts, and more. I like the alliteration there. Uh, every steak and every entree is flash frozen, vacuum sealed, and ready when you want to grill. All of them are 50% off during the semi-annual sale, and every bite is backed by their 100% unconditional guarantee. Go to omahasteaks.com and shop all of their all of your delicious favorites for half price. Don't forget to enter promo code LIGHTS at checkout for an extra $30 off. Hurry, the sale is for only a limited time. All right, playoffs. First matchup, the pill to cure your baldness, male pattern baldness, versus the self-driving car, which could also be a pill in this case. Uh, I'll start with you, Che. Self-driving car, for sure. It, it prevents accidents, get there quick. I mean, sorry, Marty. Self-driving car. <laughs> it's not my submission. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, same. Self-driving car, mm-hmm. Nick? Yeah, it's self-driving car. Self-driving car? Pill. Pill for baldness? <laughs> I'm going to go with the pill as well. I actually think uh, I losing your hair is really sad. Yeah. yeah, it sucks. <laughs> self-driving car. Self-driving car. Uh, <laughs> uh, self-driving car is going to move on. Uh, next up, we got teleportation versus the personal flying. Ken oh. Jack, can you do the, the photo filter that makes Tommy bald? Absolutely. I'll do it right Thank now you. while he's going. Try to take uh, this off. So, Tommy, you have, uh, what would you rather, teleportation yeah, or personal flying? I need a minute. <laughs> I mean, this is basically, and I know one of these is mine. I feel like we're debating fucking superpowers here, maybe, over inventions. Um, here, I, you know, I know, uh, I don't really care about winning these, so I'm going <laughs> to go and that? get, no, it's like, oh, you know, I feel like we sometimes we treat it too much like a competition. Like, I just want to vote for what I think is better, and I do think the teleportation is a better invention, so I'll go against my flying, even though it got poo-pooed way too hard. Let's see. Bald. Sorry, go ahead, Francis. If both of these are possible, teleportation is better. Yeah. It's just that simple. Teleportation. Teleportation, two for teleportation. Mush? Teleportation, too. Why uh, flying could be exhausting. And yeah. you, want, you just want to do something that you don't have to be very lazy for. You snap your fingers, you're there. Teleportation. Flying would be more fun. Undoubtedly. It'd definitely. Be yeah, until fun. Che crashes into the USS Arizona. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> what, if, what if Asians were just amazing at flying? <laughs> <laughs> Women um, would still be bad at it. <laughs> thank God I found out Che's Asian for these jokes. Yeah, yeah that is yeah. crazy. I still forgot about yeah, you that. Could, you could come along. Uh, um, yeah, Nick. If teleportation was a thing, 9-11 wouldn't have happened. That's a good point. Yeah. They could um, teleport it into the towers. Well, we don't know if it was halal. Well, what if you can take a pill to knock down a building? I would have assumed they would have taken it. I guess that's Shit. a good point, yeah. <laughs> yeah, I, I guess you're right. These pills are getting out of hand. <laughs> um, um, I'm going with teleportation. Another teleportation is going to win, but KB... So nobody's wiggled their foot faster than Tommy right now. That thing <laughs> is... I, know, I always am moving. <laughs> oh my God, that's dude. Too fast. <laughs> I have ADHD or something. <laughs> There's something wrong with me. You don't exercise enough. That's what that means. Really? Yeah. KB? Why? Good energy. You need to get tire your body out. All right. I, I should exercise yeah. more. 
teleportation uh, it goes against the rules it, it can't exist yeah it's cheating but yeah teleportation okay mm -hmm. Teleport, teleportation teleportation is going to move on on the other side we have uh let's see <sighs> this is a good one sleeping pill which uh, that sounds bad okay, those, those do exist a pill that gives you an instant yeah. eight hours of sleep uh versus the pill that charges your phone <laughs> <laughs> start with you, uh, Che. We're wasting Ended our time. time. Yeah, why Send even it. waste our time with this one? We're playing for second place. Uh, <laughs> for fun. Uh, the air-conditioned underwear versus the dream-saving technology. <laughs> Tommy. Uh, I'm going to go with the dream-saving one. I, you know, it's not because it's mine. I, I, just, I really, it's something I've always thought about. It was the first thing I put on my list when you send th sent this. Uh, I just really, I always want to remember my dreams. I feel like it's like little... There are like little movies or TV shows that you can watch that you're the star of, basically. Mm. Like, what's nothing on TV? Let me watch me be a fucking action hero and well, fuck Margot Robbie. So you're explaying the smoke show. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's literally that's yeah. <laughs> a little dream. Uh, yeah, I don't know. I, th I think it just, there's a lot of times where I wonder what that dream was. I think, and I, I, I don't know, I think it is not totally impossible. Mm. I have a strong suspicion that we remember our dreams more fondly than what it would actually look like if you were to watch it back from start to finish. Oh, they can soup it, probably, it up. Yeah, a lot would probably be abstract. They can like soup it up in minute. post. Just be all kinds of nonsense and yeah. dull moments and, you know, stupid shit. So I'm going to go with um, the air-conditioned underwear. I, I once went to a bar in college and I blacked out at the bar. I had no idea, any recollection of even getting there. And then I dreamt the exact layout of the bar. And I texted to my friend. I'm like, this is what it looked like, right? And he's like, yeah, that's exactly what it looked like. What did you text weird. to your friend? I, <laughs> I drew a map, basically, of what it looked like. There? <laughs> and he was like, yeah, that was it. It was my sure mind. You, that's weird. It was fucking really weird. Uh, it was cool, though. Um, Marty? Uh, Air-conditioned underwear. It's more I feel like the dream thing can can get be a nuisance to me at some point. Well, you don't have to use it. That's what I'm saying. But I think I'm going to be like addicted to it, being like, oh, I got to watch this like this Inception, morning, basically? Yeah. yeah. It's, and it, if they start to suck, too, I'm going to get mad at myself, like yeah. dream better. I don't like that. It's just kind of Inception adjacent. I didn't really put that together. Um, Nick? Yeah, I feel like the dream thing would be expensive, and then you'd feel obligated to look at it every day, and I would probably... No, it'd be free. How many? <laughs> you would take oh. a you would take a pill to make it free. <laughs> yeah, that's the yeah the coupon. Yeah, a swallowable coo uh, pill coupon. Um, I'm gonna go air conditioned underwear. Air conditioned underwear, KB. Tommy, I think it's a cool idea. I think I love that idea. Thank you, Cal. Thank you, Cal. <laughs> Couple cool guys, no cool. <laughs> Jay. I also think it's a cool idea, but maybe not as cool as air conditioned underwear. Ooh, so here we go, Steve. All right, nobody gets it but me and Kyle, and we invent it. Well, we'll see, Gooch. Oh, is it? Wait, it was four to two. Oh, it was four to two? Oh, I'm sorry. I took yeah. your vote towards the other way. Why would you do that? <laughs> I want to tell my story about the dream, and I got wrapped up in it. Yeah, that's bad hosting. And I, lost, <laughs> and I lost track of it. Uh, but it's bad hosting is doing it here. Uh, <laughs> so the uh, um, underwear, air conditioned underwear. Gonna move Sorry on. Sorry about your dumb dream idea. It was such a good idea. <laughs> Way better than tell a superpower teleportation. <laughs> yeah, uh, but dream big enough. Before we get into our final four, let's hear from our last match of the day, HelloFresh. Kick into a uh, start or fresh fall routine with HelloFresh. HelloFresh handles all the meal planning and shopping to deliver anything you want to cook up a tasty meal right at home. They do the hard part for you and you get to take the credit, which is kind of awesome. When it comes to options, honestly, uh, honestly, more is more. Yeah. And that's why HelloFresh menu includes 40 recipes and over 100 add-on items to choose from every week. A busy fall schedule doesn't always leave you with time to spare. And with HelloFresh, you don't always need to spend all that time in the kitchen and whip up a whole, to whip up a wholesome meal. We're just talking about there's losing time during the day and how much that sucks. And spending like three hours bringing a meal together, that falls underneath that. With their quick and easy recipes and 15-minute meals, you can get a tasty dinner at the ta on the table in less time than it takes to get takeout or delivery. A new season calls for new meals, and HelloFresh has a fresh fall lineup of delicious dinners and more to choose from. Take your pick from 40 weekly recipes that suit your lifestyle, from veggie to family-friendly to fit and wholesome. We love HelloFresh. We've used it here forever. It's been a, they've been a pretty decently like long-time sponsor, I guess you could say. Uh, go to HelloFresh.com slash 50lights and use code 
50 lights for 50% off plus 15% off the next two months. Okay, final four. Self-driving car versus teleportation, Che. I mean, again, one, and I submitted the self-driving car, it's gonna get you the process, and, or like it is the process, the other product gets you to your end point immediately, so teleportation. Teleportation, KB? Self-driving car. <laughs> The journey is the journey. <laughs> Nick? Yeah, uh, we, our brains, our dopaminergic synapses would be fucked up by yeah. having such instant uh, convenience. That's exactly what I was thinking, KB. Thinking about the synapses. <laughs> the synapses, man. People forget about them. It's the story of the episode. <laughs> uh, Nick? The world would crumble into chaos with teleportation. Mm -hmm. uh, mm -hmm. Self-driving cars. You also submitted, if I remember correctly, I didn't include it, but uh, an Uber option that you just drive around and listen to music. Yeah, I don't have a car, but one of my favorite things is just listening to music yeah. in the car. So no, an Uber with no destination. They'll loop you around and drop you off at home. Mm. That's interesting. I don't hate that. I, I like Uber rides. Sometimes mm -hmm. I'm like upset when I get to the destination. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That's mm -hmm. crazy. Bush? I'm going, I'm going with the self-driving car. Three to, three to one. <laughs> That's crazy. You guys are all fucking hippy, <laughs> dippy doofuses. Teleportation. All right, Francis, like, too far. Take that back. <laughs> that will cross the line. You're advocating We're for cut like that gas goose. powered lamps <laughs> in an era of electricity. This is ridiculous. Um, it's teleportation, and and that uh, it's, I'm angry. <laughs> teleportation. Too bad uh, you can't just jump here and punch us in the face, huh? <laughs> well, I'd go to stop in a lady's shower first. <laughs> Sorry about your dumb little teleportation idea, Francis, but the answer is self-driving car. It's a thing car. that already exists. <laughs> <laughs> well, well, I guess you'll be getting he a lot of head, won't he was you, tickling Tommy? Me. <laughs> so self-driving car moving on. Uh, now we have air-conditioned underwear versus the pill that charges your phone. Tough one. Tough one. <laughs> Is this the championship? No, it's to go into the championship. <laughs> what a match. Air conditioning underwear up. versus a pill that charges Honestly, I phone. would rather take a pill than have to plug my phone in and like... <laughs> <laughs> Tommy? <laughs> Yeah, I mean, two absolute juggernauts. <laughs> <laughs> the, the seating, it's a shame. Like, this is the championship, yeah. essentially. Um, but I mean, you know, the, the pill to charge your phone is... We can't have this win. It's unbeatable. It's truly... <laughs> yeah. It's got to be the... I mean, really, phone charging is a big issue. Uh, a, a quick pill? Maybe, <laughs> hell, maybe even a gummy? Ooh. <laughs> the phone yeah, charging for kids. gummy. Kids. Yeah. The shape of a dinosaur. Charges their iPad. <laughs> I'll, go with, uh, I'll go with the pill for charging your phone. The pill. I, I'm asking myself, what do I dislike more? Um, being Having a super sweaty, as, as uh, Marty put it, on in an airplane, hot plane, Tons of just back sweat, gooch sweat, privates sticking to your thigh uh, versus the hassle of having to plug my phone in. And it's definitely going to have to be air-conditioned underwear here. Air-conditioned underwear. That's Bush. a bigger problem for me. Yeah. I, you have to, like, half the time you're charging your phone, you're taking that sleep pill, you know? So you don't need you take the sleep pill. You don't have to do it. You're just already laying down, and the underwear is every day. Little button, woo, felt good. Mm -hmm. That's it. Underwear. Two to one in favor of air conditioned underwear. Uh, Nick, I'm googling pill that charges phone to make sure it doesn't exist. <laughs> <laughs> There's a patent no, out. Yeah, Fuck. yeah. It, it, with a pill, we're getting there. Uh, yeah, I think taking your charger somewhere sucks. Like, you go to a bar and you're like, hey, can you plug this in? Yeah. Or, like, trying yeah. to find an outlet. Or on an airplane. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. I would just, yeah, if I'm traveling, I'm taking, like, four or five of those pills. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, pill that charges phone. Pill that charges phone. In a phone. landslide. <laughs> KB. It's the pill that charges the phone, and <laughs> it's, it's not particularly close. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, Jay. 
I didn't realize we needed to press a button for this underwear oh, to work. Yeah, um, you know, <laughs> yeah. the that'd be crazy. <laughs> that's crazy. Yeah. You know I what? think Wait. I've talked myself into thinking this is an actual really good invention. <laughs> so, if you think if I if I was swallowing a pill for the air conditioning in your underwear, would that would that? Be no, you can't change it now. Can't change it now. Can't change it now. <laughs> also, yeah, there's wait. no way that would work. Wait. How would yeah, that's impossible? How that would swallowing a pill make you have air conditioning? Yeah, that'd be crazy. That'd be, <laughs> <no> <laughs> that'd be insane. I'm keep it a little realistic. Uh, okay. So finals, Stephen Chase self-driving car <laughs> instead of teleportation, which is fucking stupid, uh, versus the pill that charges your phone from Nick. Uh, let's start with you, Che. Damn. I say pull that charges your phone. I think it'd be nice to have a fully charged phone whenever I want it. The little, uh -huh. little put on your tongue. Game over. <laughs> <laughs> One, two now. Just take a pill. The pill. <laughs> <laughs> Pill. Pill. End it. <laughs> Marty? Yeah, I mean, of course it's got to win. It has to win. Pill. Francis? I, I, you know, for the reason that we, we already do have self-driving cars. Yeah. Yeah. This is a stupid final. No, the last one, the final four. I don't mind pill that charges your phone. That deserves to be here, but there were a lot more that should have been against it. Like teleportation? I don't think you get it. <laughs> Honestly, <laughs> I I get the pill that charges your phone. I just think that um, we had some other better options. You want a teleportation in their bed? I don't know. You you guys really just said that wasn't viable, <laughs> and yet and then moved along a pill that, that charges, charges your, your phone, phone <laughs> had no barrier <laughs> to being a finalist. You have to get it prescribed at a doctor. You yeah, yeah. prove that at an Apple store at a Genius Bar. <laughs> you said the world would fall apart. <laughs> if I mean, the world wouldn't fall apart from the phone charging. Uh, that's for every importation. But uh, explain the metrics of it. Like, give me how you see it. How does what's happening within your body? As soon as it starts dissolving, your battery starts going to the device. <laughs> Is, are you, are you uh, emitting electricity from your no. body into how, your how about your phone has to be in it's, your pocket? We'll make it easy. We'll make it simple and doable. I don't like that. Charging so that I don't like that. No, no, I don't, I don't, I don't like that at all. Because you can't okay. hold your hand. I think as long as you're holding it. I was yeah, just trying yeah. to let Francis be able to comprehend it. <laughs> yeah, I mean, this is just uh, really cute. It's cute what we've done. <laughs> Way to go. We did a cute thing here, guys. We, we just went to the mythical land of unicorns and zebras and... Uh, that's it. Yep. Pill that charges your phone. <laughs> yeah. Sure. Pill that charges your phone. Pill that charges your phone. Top yeah, down. this show ended 45 minutes ago. <laughs> Pill that charges your phone. Pill that. Yeah. We're in our bracket episode 95. Mm -hmm. Inventions we can't wait for. That fucking pill that charges your phone, baby. <laughs> Keep your eye out. Buy the stock yeah. in any any company that's making that. <laughs> so Buy as much stock as you can now. <laughs> uh, uh, thanks, Marty, for joining in this one. I'll be back next week, hopefully from a new spot with uh, less noise pollution. Uh, all right, we'll see you guys next week.